friend of yours, is she? What do you say? She's giving her some right crummy advice, weren't you? Who? The girl. Oh. You know her, do you? Nah. Oh, I thought perhaps... Never saw her before, uh, last night, was it? Ah, last night, the oh. station, that's when I saw it. Well, where is he? Who? The probation officer, oh, where is he? Oh, do yourself a favour, mate, and shut it, will you? Thanks very much. I suppose your mother loves you. Finally, the man who played PC David Graham, actor and writer Colin Wellen. Colin, you joined the show six months into the show starting. How did that happen? Well, I was in rep. I'd been a teacher, an art teacher, and I joined Manchester Library Theatre. Um, and I was in rep, and Zed Cars started, and we managed to see Zed Cars on a Sunday afternoon. And I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. So that when I'd done a year in rep, I thought, oh, I'm going to have a go at this, you know. So um, I wrote to David Rose, the producer, said I was born and brought up in Zed Carr's area, which I was. And I appeared in The Verdict Is Yours for Granada as the accused, would he watch it? And he watched it, invited me down to London, said we'll give you a, a six weeks trial. That's a very impressive audition. Watch me on TV and see if you like me. I think well, that's, that's great. Right. It was great. That was the best way to do it. And obviously, <laughs> you thought I, you know, I, I looked the part. And uh, it gave me a six-week trial as a dog handler. I was a dog handler for six weeks. And then my poor dog was a shot. And uh, I was moved into the cast because Jeremy Kemp was oh, yes. resigning from the show. Did the others welcome you in? Because by that time, they'd have been formed like a little club. They'd all have known each other so mm, well. They were great. They were great. They couldn't have been nicer. Mm. Um, and Jimmy and Brian and Frank and Stratford, all of them, couldn't have been nicer. Because I was pretty raw. I'd only had a year in rep. I had no uh, training, no drama schools, nothing. But um, I was the real thing, the real McCoy, <laughs> you see. The real Lancashire lad. It's a great break to get so early on oh, in your career. Fantastic. How would you describe the character of Graham? How would you describe Graham him? was a nice, straight forward lad who wanted to do good and who he wanted to be a good copper. He was uncomplicated and he had a nice sense of humor and that character appealed to people. Uh, Brian was more bluff and Jim was, you know, sort of garrulous. Uh, but we, we played off each other. Well, I know you played the part with such fabulous conviction that I'm sure that the general public must have thought at times, hang on a minute, he's a real copper. They don't think Dave Graham was a real copper. What they thought, your face was the face of a copper. And I remember being in a, in a theatre in London and a fellow next to me said, uh, you don't remember me, do you? I said, no. He said, you did me for parking in Oxford. <laughs> and he, actually, he saw my face and he related it to the police force and thought it must be the policeman who did me for parking. Fabulous. And this happened all the time. Because of that, because of the strong identification with the role, did you feel the need when you left Zedcars to distance yourself, to shed the image? It's funny, I could tell you a story about that. Sam Peckinpah, I had a play on called um, Bangersteins Boys, which is about a rugby team on tour. And Sam Peckinpah saw it, and he was casting straw dogs. And he cast a lot of them, including myself, in straw dogs. And he sent me the script. He said, read it. I've got a part for you. And I thought, great, because everybody was raping everybody else and fighting and... You know, it was a real, real um, uh, thriller. And uh, I thought, this is this will kill Zed Cars. This will kill it. Goody, goody Zed Cars, out the window. I was the vicar. That <laughs> didn't quite work. <laughs> so it didn't do the job I thought it was going to do. See, the thing is, when we become so familiar with characters on television, the public, if they don't confuse you with the real characters, then they wonder if actually you really like those characters yourself. And would you say that would be fair? Are you all very similar to the characters yeah, you're portrayed? We used a lot of our own personality. Of course we did. Yeah. You know, we weren't character caricaturing. We used, I mean, Spencer Tracy once on sax, why he was always Spencer Tracy. He said, who do you want, Humphrey Bogart? <laughs> and who do you want? You know, you got Colin Mulland. You got me. Yeah. Yeah. In the in in the part of uh, of uh, Dave Gray.